So once we've weaned, we get into what we call this post-weaning period, uh, and this is the time that most sheep farmers really struggle uh, and are disappointed, generally disappointed in the performance of their lambs uh, over that December, January, February period. It's also a time that we have to accept that our pastures, particularly our grass-based pastures, are much lower quality than they are either in early spring, winter or the late autumn phase. So if we want our animals to perform at a high level, and we're talking perhaps 250, 300 grams a day, we need to be supplying them with specialist forages that are very high in legume, uh, or perhaps some of the summer crops like summer brassicas or the uh, chicories and red clovers and things like that because on a grass-based pasture the quality is just not high enough to enable lambs to be growing at more than probably 100 or 150 grams a day. The focus on finishing animals um, has to be around growing as fast as possible. And that's all been borne by um, two-thirds of their diet is maintenance to keep them alive and a third is growth feed. So if we only feed a proportion of growth feed, we're still stuck with the two-thirds cost in maintenance. Where that sometimes changes is if we have large schedule movements over time and we carry stock. But in most cases, we've still got two-thirds of the cost of that feed and, and when we calculate that right through, our return per kilo dry matter is never as good as what we would like to think it is.